Hello there and welcome back to another Thunderous Productions video. I'm the madman behind the mic, Jag Thunder, and this is Minecraft. And welcome back guys to episode 24, I believe it is, of our Play With Thunder series. And we are still working on the CVN 65 USS Enterprise. And the last that we did, we was down in the hangar bay and I was talking, I had stories and all kinds of good shit like that. Uh, and then uh, I also told everybody I was going down to see this in person uh, at the end of uh, November, and that has happened, and I have a video on my channel if you haven't seen it. I uh, got a lot of really great pictures, uh, had a wonderful time, my dad went with me, uh, we spent about four hours on the ship, and it was just, it was absolutely amazing, uh, and then got the news today uh, that I guess the Secretary of the Navy said that the new ship coming out, the CVN-80, is going to be uh, named the USS Enterprise. So the name will carry on through the fleet. So that was pretty exciting. I was uh, pretty happy to hear about that. Uh, but anyways, I've got a lot done since I come back from my trip. Uh, I left Monday uh, of this week. Today, I don't even know what the fuck today is. Um, Friday. Today's Friday. And uh, I left Monday with my dad, and we came back on Thursday. And we went on the boat on Tuesday. It was an, uh, just a really nice day. The sun was shining uh, in the morning, and then it got kind of shitty later in the afternoon. But I uh, got a little bit of a cold while I was down there. It wasn't too bad. had a nice steak dinner, and uh, it was just it was a really good time with uh, my dad and I just uh, you know walking around the boat. Uh, when we first got there, uh, it was, oh, man, God, you guys wouldn't believe the fucking shit that I went through. And, and if I had about an hour and a half, I'd tell you the whole damn story. But basically, uh, you know, the military, they like to, they like to um, not communicate, let's put it that way. And kind of used to it anyways uh, from back when I was in. And uh, so when we got down there, you know, I wanted to get down there a day early. We were supposed to be scheduled to go on the boat Wednesday. And uh, anyways, I want to get down there a day early because I knew shit just didn't feel right. Shit was going to get fucked up. And uh, there's only two places you can check in down in Norfolk when you get there. And uh, one is the, uh, the, info, the info center or you know, your tag center, basically uh, where you get your, your base pass. It's like a temporary day pass. And then the other one is the actual tour center. Uh, they set up 45-minute uh, bus tours that, uh, that go through the base, and you look out the windows, and they tell you about the boats and all that kind of shit. So there's only two places that you can check in. And that I know of and then anybody that goes down there that's the first two places you go anyways so I called down or we got down there Monday evening and uh, we went to the tourist center of course they were fucking closed uh, they closed at four o'clock we got there like quarter after four so we went over to the tag center and of course they just acted like they didn't know what the fuck was going on she's like I don't have any list uh, you know you'll have to check with the tour center you're going to be registered through there in the morning so I'm like okay fucking great so we went, had our steak dinner, got up the next morning. Uh, I called down to the tour center uh, about 7.30. And uh, th they were just completely baffled. They had no idea what the fuck I was talking about. And I said, I've got fucking emails. I've got paperwork. All that good shit. And uh, we're just going to walk around the boat here. I've got a lot fucking done here, guys. Uh, I uh, had to redo the hangar bay doors. Uh, and I've got some uh, elevator shafts here. And here and then up on the Ford part two I've got a couple of them open this is where they bring the bombs up uh, when they're uh, unloading or loading and unloading the aircraft before they go out on the uh, the elevators and then go up to the flight deck and take off and then when they come back they go on the elevators and then they go down into the magazines and that's where I worked I was a mag rat uh, is what they called us for uh, quite a while I worked on the flight deck uh, G1 division for uh, I think it was about three or four weeks and the extra $150 a month just wasn't worth the uh, hazard duty pay. So I went back to my original division, G3 division, and um, that's uh, where the mag rats were. G4, they were the people that operated the elevators. And let's see, G2 and G5, don't remember what they did. I think G5 was more like your flares and um, small arms, I think. And then G2, I, I just can't fucking remember right now. But anyways, uh, back to my story. So I called down there and I said, you know, look, I said, I've got fucking, what the fuck is this? <laughs> I'm having some fucking lighting issues here too. I'm trying to get things to look even and then it's turning out good up here and it's getting fucked up down there. Uh, so <laughs> anyways, I'm a little bit all over the place today, guys. 
Uh, is that lined up? Yeah, that's good. So anyways, I call down there. She's baffled, has no idea what the fuck I'm talking about. So I go back and I tell my dad, I said, you're not going to believe this shit. And he's like, what? I was like, they act like they have no idea what the fuck's going on. The email that we got um, that uh, basically, I'm going to work on the floor here for a minute. Um, <laughs> that would have to concentrate so damn hard on what I'm doing. Uh, you know, the the email that we got uh, made uh, made us understand that it was going to be a fucking madhouse down there. They were expecting tens of thousands of people. Uh, There's going to be fucking cars all over the place, people all over the place, and it was just going to be a clusterfuck. Uh, another reason why I wanted to go down early. Uh, so they rescheduled us originally from Tuesday to Friday. So we had to confirm the email, blah, blah, blah. Uh, Dad got the confirmations back. I didn't get shit. Uh, so I was like, they got you, but they don't have me, but they rescheduled us for Friday. If we confirm this email, then we can get on, then, you know, we can still get on Tuesday. But they said Tuesday, they had to cancel mass tours. It was going to be a really busy day. It would be better if we went on Wednesday. So we, so we confirmed the email for Wednesday. And, uh, again, dad got the confirmation back. I didn't. So we were scheduled for Wednesday. So we went down Monday night, like I said, uh, got up Tuesday morning, and I figured, you know, at least we would have all day Tuesday to kind of figure out what the fuck was going on. At least make sure we was registered uh, and, and try to figure out where the fuck, uh, you know, all this shit was going to happen. So I called down there, blah, blah, blah. She didn't know what was going on. And I told her, I said, look, I said, I've got emails. I've got confirmation. Uh, you know, I've got paperwork. She said, well, bring it down. Let's take a look at it. So I went back in, told Dad, and I said, you're not going to believe this shit. I said, they act like they have no idea what the fuck's going on. And we were, you know, I was laughing. He was laughing. I was like, Tch. Typical, typical military shit. I was like, this is a serious clusterfuck. So we drove down to the tour center, and it was about 20, 20 after 8. The tours were supposed to start Tuesday uh, at 9 o'clock. And here it is, 20 after 8. And we walk in, and there's one other guy in there. And he has a piece of paper that is confirming his uh, invitation for, to the boat. Tuesday and he's got a piece of paper that we never fucking got I mean it had a fucking map on it and everything and uh and there's six I think six or seven uh, uh tour people or you know military personnel inside the uh, the tour office and uh <laughs> none of them had no idea what the fuck was going on I'm like you gotta be shitting me and it took probably pro about 15 or 20 minutes uh, for them calling all over the fucking base to figure out what the hell was going on. And I'm thinking, my god damn, dude, it's supposed to be tens of thousands of people down here, and the main fucking two places that, you know, are supposed to be handling this have no fucking clue that this is happening. <laughs> so I'm laughing. The guy that um, was in line, super nice guy, uh, he, he was stationed on the, uh, the Enterprise in 68. He's laughing, you know, he's, uh, he had his old military ID and he was, you know, shucking and jiving with the, uh, you know, the other military people there and, and also me too. And finally, anyways, uh, they, they got off the phone. They said, you guys need to go over to the, you know, the tag registration office, which I knew we would have to go there anyways, because, you know, you, you have to have your car registered to get on the base. And then, you know, of course they got to do background checks and all that shit. So I knew eventually we would have to go there anyways. So we headed across the street and we went to the, you know, uh, the tag center, whatever the fuck, and it, we lucked out. There was, like, nobody in line, and me and Dad and the other guy, we went ahead and got in line, and uh, the other guy forgot his registration, so he went back out. Uh, long story short, we went ahead, and I told Dad, I said, I'm not saying shit. I said, if they're going to register us today, I said, and they're not checking, oh, yeah, yeah, the fucking lady brought out this big fucking book because it took them a little while to uh, figure out what the fuck was going on, too. I'm like, God damn it, they still don't know what the fuck's going on, right? Um, so anyways, the lady brings out this fucking book, and it, it looks like a magistrate. It's got, like, you know, a, a shitload of names on it, and, and the book's thicker than the fucking War and Peace. Uh, but anyway, she sets it down, and she's like, well, I guess we're not going to use this. And, and she just sets it down, and the other lady looks at it and says, well, okay. So I told Dad, I was like, you know what, fuck this noise. If they can register us today... Um, We'll just go ahead and go today. I said, there, there's nobody here. Uh, I said, so obviously people canceled for the day or something got seriously fucked up. I said, so we should be good to go this morning and just get on the boat at, you know, 9 o'clock, a little bit after we, you know, register and all that shit, and uh, we should be good to go. So he's like, fuck it, okay, cool. So I didn't say nothing. They went ahead and registered. Didn't even check any of our fucking paperwork. So I was all right, good to go. 
Uh, I need a light right here. Uh, <laughs> hell of a story, guys. I'm, I'm fucking telling you. <laughs> this shit just fucking blew my damn mind. And uh, anyway, so, you know, we get on the base and, uh, you know, we go over and, of course, all the parking we could possibly want uh, down at Pier 12, Pier 14 is where it was. and Well, actually, it still is. And uh, let's count. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Hang on. Two, three, four. And five and fucking five. All right. Um, so, anyways, all the all the parking that we could you know possibly want. Got out, took pictures, walked up the pier. If you guys watch the video, you can see there's there's literally hardly anybody on the fucking pier at all. On the boat, there might have been maybe 200 fucking people going through that morning that we saw. Uh, the military personnel that was attached to the ship, uh, they were carrying uh, all kinds of cabinets and chairs and, and just all kinds of scrap metal and stuff off the ship um, you know because they're going to decommission it so they need to get all their shit off and uh, so anyways we you know we walked right on they had a nice little welcome booth there uh, which was re you know really cool uh, they bought uh, some pamphlets some really nice bags I'm going to get to that in a minute because Jag, Jag fucked up um, so anyways, we grabbed two of these bags. They got some uh, DVDs of the uh, the final tour that uh, uh, that they did that they just came back on, and uh, and the guy asked me, you know, military guy, of course, obviously, uh, asked me. He says, you know, do you want a you know uh, a guided tour or a self guided tour? And I looked at him and says, really? I said, a damn self guided tour? I said, I, we can just go where the hell we want to. He's like, yeah, pretty much. He said, you know, except for the restricted areas. And uh, I said, well, I was stationed on you know, 93 to 95. He's like, oh, well, you know where everything's at. He said, you know, just go on and go then. And then they had, you know, like three pieces of paper there, you know, for people that didn't know where shit was. They could just follow that. Uh, so I grabbed some of those and off we went. So, uh, you know, I took Dad down to the, uh, well, we walked through the hangar bay first. And then I told him, you know, I'd, you know, I'd take him up to the uh, the upper levels and I'd show him uh, the, the uh, the mess decks up there, the officers' mess where I worked when uh, when I was in. So I found that no problem, and then we found the chain lockers. Uh, well, where the uh, the main chains were, anyways. Uh, found that okay. I remember remembered where that was. Did pretty good remembering where everything was on the boat. Uh, made it down here to the second level beneath the hangar bay, and that if that's where we're at right now. Um, and you know we went through, and I showed them the bank, and I showed them the forward mess area and the aft mess area. Um, and then I showed him where I used to stay, which was right here. And I've already, <laughs> I've already got it in. There was a uh, hatch right here on the, the aft mess area that went down into a birthing area. And I've got a picture of it. You can see it in the video. Uh, but we couldn't go down there because there was, you know, military people still using this that were attached to the ship. That was one of their birthing areas. Um, so I actually couldn't go down there, but I got a picture of the fucking hatch anyways. Um. So anyways, we got up to, I know, I, what if I say anyways, like 15 fucking times? <laughs> so, so we uh, we go up to the flight deck and we walk around the flight deck and look at that and see all the fucking rust and shit. And it obviously needs to, you know, taken out of the fleet. It's it, it, She was in pretty bad shape. Um, but anyhow, uh, we went through the flight deck, went up into the tower, and uh, we got up to the, I think it was the uh, the main, the main helm. Uh, where the captain and shit steer the boat, and I got talking to uh, you know one of the the navy people in there, and Dad was sitting in the chair, and uh, I set the bags down uh, right next to the you know the little steering wheel things, and, uh, and I took his picture, and then I handed him my camera or my phone, and I was like, here, you take my picture. And he's like, okay, that was it. That's where I left the fucking bags. They were sitting there. So we went up a couple more levels, and I got up top, and I was like, fuck, I don't have the bags. And I looked at Dad, I was like fuck you don't have the bags he's like no i was like god damn it so i went back downstairs and of course they were fucking gone i was like you gotta be shitting me so i was really pissed off about that i mean they weren't awesome fucking bags but they were pretty nice fucking bags uh, so we made our way back down to the hangar bay back to the table where we originally got the shit let me walk this way you guys are like hey, you're standing in one fucking spot jack and uh, uh these are the elevators right here they go down to the mags i'm still cutting those through um, and, and this opens up, and th that way they can <laughs> put the fucking bombs up there. But uh, they come out right here on the mess decks. Um, they had uh, several of them, and I, and I can't fit them all in here, and I can't quite do them the way that they had them. And I'm sure I'll overlay some pictures in here so you guys can see what I'm talking about when I'm talking. Um, but anyways, I, you know, I want it, I want it to look kind of good, and I'm you know making it a little even, so it's not quite like it is on the ship. 
Um, but anyways, we make uh, we make our way back down to the hangar bay, and uh, this was the main. Uh, let's see, is that where it came at? No, okay. Um, <laughs> I'm fucking talking fast as shit, dude. It's late as hell. This is the Chiefs mess here. I didn't get any pictures of this. Um, and this is, again, this is going to be kind of uh, my own design. But it was right here midship. Um, but I'm going to kind of redesign some things here. And I didn't get a picture of that while I was down there. Um, made our way back to the hangar bay. And back to the welcome, the welcoming desk there. And, of course, they don't have no more of those fucking bags. They got these little plastic ones. And they're okay. He's, you know, they had some new books there, um, uh, two two pretty thick books, um, really nice pictures, uh, all all kinds of really cool shit, and some goddamn stickers. <laughs> so I told Dad as well, that's a good trade off. I said, you know, we'll go ahead and take that, and uh, you know, I'll be happy with that. But I was still pissed off the rest of the day. I left them fucking bags there, and probably that damn group that was behind us, them cocksuckers, probably picked them up and stole them. So, anyways, uh, there's my Navy story for the Play With Thunder episode. Now we're going to walk through, and I'm going to show you some of the shit here. Um, this was the the medical bay. Uh, and, again, this is kind of my own design. It was right here, uh, again, about forward midship, uh, just in front of the Chief's Mess. Uh, so I'm going to be uh, kind of designing this to my own whims, I guess. And... And we'll just see how that turns out. But I've got, as you guys can see, i got a shitload laid out. Uh, the main walls, I'll start cutting through and working up uh, the stairwells and stuff. Uh, I just wanted to get the main uh, the main areas laid out that I could remember. Especially right now while it's still very fresh in my head. Here's the bank. Um, and I'll overlay a picture here. <laughs> Probably right there. Um, over here was, uh, this is where you got your ship's ID. Uh, if you lost yours or it was kind of uh, like mini security, uh, there was, you know, their own department too. But this is where you came in, like when you checked in on the boat and, they, you know, get your ID and your paperwork. And then uh, you have to go around and check into each department, whatever the hell. But that was right about in here. And again, here was the bank when you got your paycheck. You know, you obviously it's the fucking bank. <laughs> you go to you go and get it fucking cashed. And they did, well, we did have ATM machines uh, that we had just got uh, on board just when I think I was leaving. And then forward of that was your forward mess area. And this will be the galley uh, back here uh, with the the stoves and where they cooked all the food. And again, I'm gonna have to uh, improvise a little bit here. And this was the serving line. And I'm going to go back around this way. Got a lot to show you guys. I got a lot done, uh, especially today. Uh, this is where we came down uh, stairs the first time uh, to, the, to the second level. And we, and we come down here uh, a couple times going forward and back. And there was sailors on the ship trying to get their shit, you know, going or whatever the fuck. Uh, this here, this will be where they had, like, the lockers for um, lockers. The uh, fuck the freezers for the food it's getting late guys <laughs> i've been working on this for a while i guess i need a break uh but i really wanted to get a video going because i'm uh, as you can probably tell i'm pretty excited uh this was just th this whole build has just got me you know re-energized in minecraft again uh and i'm just i'm having a really good time here uh so on the forward mess decks again you had the the elevators these i got a little closer to probably what it was on the ship um there was a couple over here but anyways, not all of them go up to the main deck. Uh, we'd bring them up to the uh, the mess deck area, and then we'd take them over to the main elevators that go up to the hangar bay. But I think I'm going to run mine uh, probably all the way up. I don't know. These ones I probably won't because there's some, uh, there's some uh, fucking shit up there, and I'm not quite exactly sure what was above that. Uh, but those will probably stay. And then uh, here was another part of the forward mess area, and I'm going to put all kinds of tables and chairs uh, sitting through here. And this is uh, a slight improvision. It went forward, and on this side, uh, they had like a little coffee shop, coffee uh, something Joe's, Java Joe's, or some kind of shit. Anyways, it had a neat little coffee shop uh, right here. It was just a little window. You got your, you know, your Java or whatever the fuck. And then they had a bunch of vending machines in this area, and this wall was pushed back a little bit. Uh, and then there's some passageways. That, guys, I'm, there's no way in fucking hell I'm going to get all the passageways exactly where they were. So there's going to have to be some improvision here. Uh, this goes up this way. There'll be some uh, some more ladders and stuff going up. 
above, uh, I think the level above the hangar bay was the uh, uh, the main chains for the anchors and shit. And I'll put a uh, picture up probably right there. Uh, haven't got up to there uh, to there to there yet uh, because I've been down on this floor pretty much the whole day today and uh, a little bit yesterday just trying to get this laid out and getting all the tiles in and uh, just you know laying everything out all the big stuff so that I can go back and, and fudge with it later uh, and then this way again the stairs aren't exactly where they where they need to be but they're pretty they're this one's pretty fucking close uh, right across from uh, elevator four they had the welcome booth set up it was like right in here and they had a really nice display and then right across from that uh, you uh, you took the main door and went straight down so we're, these doors are pretty close to where they uh, where where they are actually are on the ship uh, I had to redo all my lighting uh, trying to figure out just how to make it even and get it so everything was lit up really nice in here and I took out that big bridge that, that went across here and I lowered the ceiling because and then around let's see let's go up right here oh god damn I fucking went right through it holy shit so I'm gonna have another floor up here because there's supposed to be another floor up here uh, and it's only gonna be too high which is no big deal and I think on the outside I can go ahead and get three high as you can see I'm trying to lay out the some more floors over here uh, this is yeah this is <laughs> this is a hell of a project guys just this is gonna probably take a while originally this was already pretty much laid out uh, and as you can see here uh, I've got a lot of rooms that I've already started on uh, a couple uh, probably about two weeks ago I started laying all these out uh, not really sure what's what up through here because this wasn't any of my department and somewhere right up in here uh, let me find the the missile launchers because those should be right ah, fuck where am I <laughs> I, did the, I did the same shit on the fucking ship when I was down there I was like no no it's this way dad it's this way dad and uh, anyways where in the fuck are the missiles and once I find the missiles guys I'll, I'll know where I'm at and I think I'm probably going to punch through the side of the fucking ship oh god damn it oh fuck Yep. <laughs> All right. Well, hang on a minute. Let me fix that bullshit. And uh, anyways, up where the front missile launcher is on the starboard side, which is that side, uh, lined up straight with that. Here, here's a passageway. Here uh, was the the officers' mess. Oh, here we here we go. Here we <laughs> right here. All right, and that's kind of cheesy now that I look at it, but you know I can lower that a little bit more. And probably going to make this a little bit more more rounder. Uh, straight across from here was the officers' mess, and this is where I worked. And I'm I'm going to have to redo all this now, and I'll throw up a couple pictures here too. Uh, so all these walls will get ripped out, and and I'll put the officers' mess right through here, and then the the washroom, you know, where I wash the dishes, they'll be on this side. And then all the way down uh, the passageways are probably just going to be some birthing areas, uh, some place for the catapults, uh, and shit like that. So that's where I'm at right now, guys. And I hope you guys are enjoying this and the stories that go along with it. Uh, it seems like it because the uh, Play With Thunder series episode 23 has actually got more views uh, than the promo video that I made for this ship. So... Uh, should be getting a lot of you know a lot of people in on this really interested to see what's going on uh, and I'm gonna try to keep uh, you know as active as I can and finish as much of the ship as I can there's gonna be a lot of parts that I can't finish or you know, I won't be able to finish like the reactor area it had eight fucking reactors on it and I'll be honest with you never seen one have no idea what the fuck they look like and I have no fucking clue where they're at on the ship um, so they'll probably just be closed off areas and you just assume that's where they are uh what else uh the reactors uh the engine room uh where the uh, the rotors and the uh propellers and the shafts come in never went down there have no idea what it fucking looks like uh probably can't even fucking fudge something maybe i can i don't know but it's going to be last on the list 
Uh, I, you know, I want to get you know, everything up here is visually close to the way it was and also deck number two, which is right below us with the mess decks and all that because that's the main areas that, you know, people will visit. And I will also update the schematic uh, of the ship probably on the next video. That way I can get, you know, a little bit more done. And those that want to you know, re-download it, uh, I'll, I'll, I'll mention it in the, in the next episode. And uh, other than that, guys, again, thanks for all the support. Uh, I, I really appreciate it, all the comments and, you know, just everything, guys. It's just totally blown my mind, you know, how much, you know, this ship has just, uh, you know, brought a lot of... Uh, uh, support and liveliness you know around the community uh in my community per se uh the people just you know know people that were either on it or around it in the uh in the navy uh just it's it's awesome it's you know you guys are great and i'm loving every minute of it keep the comments rolling give me a couple more weeks we'll have another play with thunder episode up and until then remember to rate comment subscribe follow me on twitter and i will catch you guys on the next one Later.